Hey, it's Chris Cusimano. This is another Koozie Corner. And today we're talking about potential walkthrough disasters because today's the day. Today's the day you're supposed to be super excited about moving into your new house. You get to the door at the walkthrough before the closing and boom, you're just shocked. There's some things that are there or not there that can kind of rock your world, right? So what do I mean? If you don't read the contract, you may walk in and notice that the washer and dryer is gone, that a fan's gone, that a light fixture is gone, that the doorknob that you wanted it was gone. Things like washer and dryers are not automatically by default in the contract. You have to make sure they're added in. So having a real estate agent who doesn't know that may cost you a couple hundred bucks, maybe a couple thousand bucks to replace. So whatever you want inside a property and whatever you want addressed, make sure it's in the contract on the very first page at the top from the very get-go. Also, when it comes to cleanliness of a house, it doesn't technically have to be clean. So you wanna make sure that if you wanna clean before the closing, that that's written in as well. Holes in the wall, scratches on floors, things like that do come up when pictures are removed and furniture is moved out of the way. If those are things that are going to concern you, again, bring that up right away within the contract, or at the very least before the end of your inspection period. So th that's it. Those are my little tips and tricks on how to handle a walkthrough. And if you want it done right, remember, you can always call me. My information is right here, 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 somewhere on the screen. And I'm Chris Cusimano, and I'll talk to you soon.